Hi, my name is Cheryl and I'm the PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I will be analysing a past year examination question on the topic of plants. I will also include this question to download for free by clicking the link in the description box down below. So let's get started. Question 5. Study the diagrams as shown below. As you can see, we are given a flowchart in this question and a diagram over here. The question is asking, from the diagrams above, which one of the following best represents the plant shown above? As you can see from the flowchart, there are letters A, B, C and D and we need to find out which letter best represents this plant here. When you come across a flowchart question and you would like to figure out which letters represent the organism, you can do so by tracing the flowchart. So what do I mean by tracing the flowchart? Let me show you how we can trace the flowchart. Where should we begin from? We should definitely begin from the start. So you can take your highlighter and start tracing from the start to the first question in the flowchart. The first question in the flowchart is whether the plant needs air, food and water. Now, can you recall what are the things that need air, food and water? They are the living things. In this case, is the plant a living thing? Yes, the plant is a living thing. And because of this, do you think the plant needs air, food and water? The answer is yes. So can letter A represent this plant? The answer is no. So now we know that A cannot be the answer. Take out your highlighter again and we will now continue to trace the flowchart to figure out whether this plant is B, C or D. Since A cannot be the answer, we cannot continue to highlight down. We should now go to the right to reach the next question. The second question in the flowchart is whether the plant can make its own food. Recall what you have learned about the plant. Can the plant make its own food? The answer is a yes. But can you recall specifically which plant part makes food for the plant? It is the leaves. The leaves are the part of the plant that helps the plant to make food. Based on this, can letter B represent the plant? Letter B cannot represent the plant because the plant makes food. Let's now continue to trace the flowchart. Since letter B cannot represent the plant, we should not highlight downwards. Instead, we should highlight towards the right side to now reach the third question. The third question in this flowchart is whether the plant reproduces by seeds. Let's take a look at the diagram of the plant below again. Can you see something special growing on this plant? It is the flower. This plant has flower growing on it. When a plant has flowers growing on it, what can we tell about this plant? Is it a flowering plant or a non-flowering plant? If a plant is able to produce flowers, this means that it is a flowering plant. I would like you to recall, if a plant has flowers on it, what can these flowers develop into after some time? the flowers would be able to develop into fruits. And if you cut open these fruits, what do you see in these fruits? There are seeds in the fruits. And if there are seeds, what does this tell you about how flowering plants reproduce? This shows that flowering plants reproduce by seeds. So can letter C in the flowchart represent this plant below? The answer is no. Since letter C cannot represent this plant, this means that we can take our highlighter to continue to trace the flowchart to letter D. And this shows that letter D is the one that represents this plant. And the answer will be option 4. Thank you for watching this video. If you find that this video was useful, do give us a thumbs up and leave us a note in the comment section below so we know we're on the right track. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and click here for more. See you next time!